Orate. Continuing, uh, actually, a little bit before where we left off, where we got so rudely interrupted. I want to say something about Scorpio. I feel like I rushed that. I totally forgot about Libra, I just realized. Okay, I'll say the Scorpio thing. We'll backtrack to Libra. Fuck, I can't believe I forgot that. Well, there you go. Rushed it. So Scorpio rules the large bowel as well as um, the anus. And this this whole focus on excretion is very much wrapped up in what Scorpio energy is all about, which is rebirth, which is moving forward, transforming, and um, getting rid of what no longer serves you. You know, and this means every every single sphere of life, but especially emotionally. And uh, oh, it's such a pretty skyline outside. Um, And also, being willing to deal with the nitty-gritty, dirty parts of life. You know, it's very much Scorpio. And, um, you know, some signs got to do it. And Scorpio is happy to because it, it learns things that you can't learn any other way but by just jumping in. You know what I mean? So, and that, again, that's just jumping into life. So, Scorpio. Now, going back to Libra. Libra rules the kidneys. And uh, this is interesting because Libra is about balance. And, um, you know, two kidneys. And the kidneys are all about... about I guess you could say providing harmony for the body. You know, getting rid of... Also getting rid of what you don't need, but... Articulated. I guess that's the best way to put it. It's just bringing balance to the body, bringing balance to the blood as it filters, you know. And, uh, oh, that's an interesting way to put it. And separating it into, you know, what you need and what goes back into the bloodstream and what you don't need and what is expelled from the body. I find this is why Libras have to pee all the time. And it's funny because Libras are a very elegant, refined, you know, sign. But when they have to pee, they are they have absolutely no qualms whatsoever <laughs> about saying, I gotta pee, <laughs> which is really cool. It's very, very funny. Um, so that's Libra, Scorpio, Sag. One last thing I want to say about Sag, not only does that body part make sense because they want to run so much, but also because they love exploring and adventuring. And you got to use your thighs to be able to, to explore and adventure uh, expeditiously, you know, around the world. Um, and also to hike up to new heights, you know, and to be able to see the world from another horizon, another perspective. Sag is always about broadening the horizon and uh, adventuring to do so. So, yeah. All right, um, Capricorn. Capricorn is the knees. Notice, too, that, and this is fascinating to me, the flow of the signs, starting with Aries working all the way down, is the flow of the human body. And this is what I was saying in Astrology 102, how, um, you know, the house system and, and the setup of the human body, I've, I sense are linked, is linked. And I'll, I'll explore that once it's more, once it's more conscious, once it's manifested. I'm still working on the kinks of that and how it clicks. But, um, there's, again, there's fascinating order in what appears to be chaos. So it's, it's amazing. Moving on. Capricorn, knees, and also the entire skeletal system. And um, it also rules skin, but cancer actually rules skin a bit more. And uh, hence why those with a lot of cancer, for example me, get sunburned so easily. My nose is like always sunburned. It's a little bit burnt now. <laughs> and we have very sensitive skin. And uh, funnily enough, double cancer, when I get nervous, I scratch on my stomach. And, uh, you know, the sensitive skin like breaks out. And so it's all sorts of fun. And uh, I've had that for forever. I'm I'm good now. I'm not worried now. But um, you know, it'll it'll pop up, and I'll just start 
worrying. That's a big thing for Capricorn and Cancer to get over is to stop worrying so much. And to um, just live, you know, and, and just be fine. But we're all getting there. Um, so Capricorn was a skin along with Cancer, although not as much as Cancer, I personally find. Um, but it definitely rules the skeletal system and the knees. And, uh, you know, it makes sense. It's Capricorn, as well as its, uh, its planetary ruler, Saturn, are very much about order. You know, hence Saturn's rings and its restriction. And um, Capricorn's an earth sign, and the bones are one of the most material parts of our body, the most solid parts of our body. And so, um, I mean... Truly, without the skeleton, the entire body would just be a, a big mess of muscles and organs, and it wouldn't be able to accomplish anything, wouldn't be able to have structure. And so, not only does the skeletal system make sense, but also the knees, because the knees are so crucial in everyone's life, let alone Capricorns, of course, to move ahead, to get things done, to, to go along with the metaphor of Capricorn, the mountain goat, to be climbing ever higher. And uh, that's only possible if you're working, you know, if you're, you're, you're uh, able to climb higher. And uh, those knees are absolutely crucial to the entire system. So, moving on to Aquarius. Um, Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. Aquarius is the calves and especially the ankles. And I've heard, too, the wrists. Uh, I'm still exploring that. But definitely... Oh, and also the entire circulatory system. Ooh! I forgot to mention, Sag is blood, by the way. There's uh, a huge link between Sag and blood, and I think that's why Sages love um, adventures so much, because it really gets their blood pumping. And to go back even further, I forgot to mention for Aries that the adrenal glands are associated with Aries, hence why Aries also love adventures, but they're also very uh, able to get in a fight. Very, uh, I mean, adrenal glands are fight or flight, you know, and fight most often in this case with the adrenal glands and, and that's why I find that areas are very easy to lose all you know thought processes and to be very much fueled by just adrenaline sometimes in very good and very challenging ways for example anger challenge good bravery uh, zeal uh, heroic actions you know queries <sighs> Just as the heart, the partner si uh, ruled by Leo, the partner sign of Aquarius, pumps blood all throughout the body, um, the circulatory system and its its um, its is how to put it, its channels, the veins, the arteries, the capillary bodies, are said to be ruled by Aquarius, and that's why Aquarii have a very difficult circulatory systems. And me personally, son in the house of Aquarius. Um, I, Saturn and Aquarius, I very often um, have to do some yoga or some stretches to get my blood flowing because it's very easy for my blood to not flow so well and for a part of my body to fall asleep. I find it funny and fun more than anything, but it is it is what it is. It's a challenge. And also um, the ankles. It's very, very common for Aquarii to sprain our ankles, to uh, hurt them, to break them, and it's the most extreme manifestation. Um, and yeah, our calves. I don't know what it is. Something I, I theorize that it has to do, our calves, has to do something with Aquarian electricity, with static energy, you know. Um, perhaps in the movement of the legs, because the calves are moving so much. I don't know. It's an interesting thing, but I, I, think, I think that makes sense. To me, it does, anyways. But in any case, yeah, calves have been said for forever to be ruled by Aquarius. Um, which also makes sense considering Saturn's role in that. Aquarius is ruled by Uranus and Saturn. Um, the same planet, Saturn-wise, that rules Capricorn and gives structure, you know. And so with the calves, you're able to have that structure and it also moves very quickly. Actually, that makes so much sense with the electricity, you know, of, of Uranus, of Aquarius. And um, that makes so much sense, even more so considering Aquarius is an air sign and uh, is constantly on the move. And I think that's why ankles get sprained and hurt so much. 
so easily, and perhaps risks as well, is um, because you're so thinking, you're thinking so much, and your head's so high up in the clouds, and you're moving so quickly that you're not looking at the specifics before you, and so you're not thinking about that curb or whatever, uh, both literally and figuratively. Oh. Meow, meow. Crazy dog. Um, yeah, you're, you're not thinking, or you don't see that curb or whatever, and oh, sprained angle, there you go. So that's, that's the main thing. Alrighty, moving on to the last one for now, um, for this video, is Pisces. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Pisces rules the feet, and um, this is really fascinating to me because Jesus had so much Piscean energy. Uh, a lot of charts show him as a Pisces, but most charts, if not all, that are theorized to be his birth chart, um, shows Jupiter and Saturn in Pisces. Um, meow meow. Stop picking fights. Fuck, man. Go upstairs. Oh, meow meow. Trying to kill every other dog that exists. And or hump them. At the same time. <laughs> so, <laughs> Pisces. Um, the whole thing with Jesus is just really fascinating. Considering, um, you know, his, his association with the feet. With, um, you know, washing the feet. And, uh. It's just very interesting in a, in a lot of cultures. I know India, for example. There's a to show respect, you kiss somebody's feet, um, and in a lot of other cultures, you you lay prostrate at the feet to show respect. More so in past centuries, I'd say, but um, I think that shows ultimate humility, and um, that is Pisces. You know, is ultimate humility to not have the ego be the focus, but the universal love, the universal togetherness and unity and, and harmony, just like Pisces represents that energy. And it's fascinating to me that of all the parts of the body, it's, it's our feet that are in contact with the earth. I mean, yes, sitting down, there's different stuff, but standing up, that's, that's it. And, um... I mean, what's more humble than being grounded? Than being willing to tread on the earth, you know? To, to will yourself into being a part of everything. It's almost as if the first 11 signs are really just, well, I, I wouldn't put it that way. The 12th sign is the channel for all the rest of the 11 signs to, to stand up and to have form and to have function. You know, ultimately, we all rely on our feet to, to carry us through life. One last note. That's why foot massages are so awesome. Because we all have Piscean energy. And to have a foot massage is just releasing all of the psychic baggage that we've accumulated. You know, the negativity. And of course, we can easily... Not, how to put it? With effort and time, we can, we can learn easily enough how to rid ourselves of negativity. How to not accumulate other people's negativity. Not let it... Not not be absorb uh, not to absorb other people's negativity, but everybody could use a foot massage, you know, and just to feel relaxed and to feel good. And 
Oh, that's a good place to end it. <laughs> so, I'm not going to talk about in Astrology 104. I can't think of anything right now, but um, you tell me. You know, whatever you're interested in learning about, about astrology itself, let me know and I'll do another video. And uh, if I think of something in the meantime, I'll put it up. But otherwise, I'd love to hear your perspective and what you'd love to hear about. And if I can possibly accommodate that, I absolutely will. So. <sighs> Namaste.